Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's your boy, Pigskin Pete. Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, it is New Year's Eve, so everybody, if you're going to go out and party tonight, be very, very safe. You don't need me to tell you that, though. Uh, Uber, take a taxi, walk, whatever you got to do. Don't get behind the wheel and hurt yourself or hurt somebody else uh, if you're drinking. I was going to do this video later on tonight, but uh, in my neighborhood where I live, of course, down here in South Carolina, the fireworks are completely legal year-round. Uh, we got stores around here that sell fireworks year round. You, most places you only see the, you know, they'll sell fireworks on Fourth of July or or New Year's. It's a year round thing here, and believe me, people take advantage of it. Uh, and they shoot off fireworks from probably about 10 p.m. till about 4 a.m. and it's non-stop and it's loud as hell. So I'm doing it now. Uh, but who's ready to have some fun though? Uh, it doesn't take long, man. Uh, it does not take long at all. All I did was post a video about my initial thoughts. Very, very broad, very simple. Said I thought it would be a good game. Gave all the props I could to LSU. Uh, said Joe Burrow was great and uh, worthy of the Heisman and deserved it. All that sort of thing. Of course, I said I gave Clemson the edge in this game uh, because I think they're a more complete team and because of the coaching continuity and experience. Uh, that's pretty simple to me, isn't it? Uh, but anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to look at some comments from that video. It's very, very easy to bait some of these people into leaving comments. Uh, some of these comments are funny. Uh, some of them are dumb. Uh, some of them are completely delusional. Uh, it's a lot of different types of comments. Now, for anybody who's new here, what I normally do is I go into my desktop app and do this. And so you can see live on my desktop app and I'll just scroll through and read the comments uh, a lot of complaints about not being able to read the comments on the screen because I can't zoom in on the app it's not like a desk it's not like the web browser so what I did today is something to try something different here um, I picked out I think seven or eight of these comments and sorry if I didn't pick your comment uh, I, you know it's not intentional just picked out seven or eight ones that I thought were funny or, or stupid or both or you know whatever interesting and uh, screenshot of them, and, and I'll put them up on the screen where you can actually read them here on the, without going into the app. Um, so, if I read your comment, thank you. Thank you for all the comments, by the way, even the ones that I'm not going to read. Uh, thank you for the comments if you did leave one that I'm going to read as well. Thank you for the material. All right, this first one, um, I, <laughs> I saved a funny one for first. This guy, Jay... Vasey, I think he left us uh, several comments. But uh, let's go ahead and read this one. Clemson's defense was getting thrashed by Ohio State for a half. For a half. You realize there's four quarters in a game, right, sir? What do you think will happen against LSU? Well, I said what I think is going to happen. Uh, I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. Because I don't see LSU's defense slowing down Clemson's offense either. They can't get behind LSU. Matter of fact, I'm going to text Joe right now that you're talking shit. <laughs> He's going to text Joe Burrow and tell him I'm talking shit. Uh, by the way, how, how, is, uh, how is saying that he's great and he deserves to win the Heisman talking shit? Because you know he thrives on that. Joe might hang 50 on Clemson. Um, he might, but guess what? I'd be sure, I'd be surprised if he did. No one else has done it. Uh, Ohio State was averaging more points per game than LSU was, and they didn't do it. Hell, Ohio State only scored three more points than uh, North Carolina did. And uh, yeah, anyway, Clemson ain't that good. Who have you played, dude? <laughs> good. Clemson ain't that good. Who have you played, dude? Uh, you a joke and haven't been watching neither. Haven't been watching what? Auburn defense better than Clemson and Florida, and they both lost. Uh, no, Auburn's defense is not better than Clemson's. Um, Florida's defense is not better than Clemson. Um, and by the way, how many points did you score on Auburn? Was it like 25, 26? Yeah, and guess whose offense is better than Auburn's too? Clemson's. Barely beat Auburn. In Death Valley, I think. It's a fake Death Valley at that. All right, let's go ahead and look at the next one. That was uh, 
see see how stupid some people are that's just a, a prime example right there all right bennett brabham what kind of names these people have lsu will destroy clemson i can hear it in your voice can you hear it in my voice what what exactly what in my voice are you hearing that makes me think that LSU is going to destroy Clemson. Let me know that right now. You know there is no chance, but keep kidding yourself. It's humorous to us real Tigers. Okay. I'll just leave that one be. A lot of people telling me I know that LSU is going to win the game. But you know, Ohio State fans told me that too. Oh, he's just not saying it because he's a homer. He knows Ohio State's going to win the game. <laughs> All right, let's look at the next one. James Martin. Oh, this is a good one. Uh, hilarious. So Clemson has every advantage. We might as well just not show up. Now, so James, before I even get any further into this, James is a prime example of somebody that is so clouded by their fandom for their team that they don't even listen to what I say. He says that I'm saying that Clemson has every advantage and that they might as well not show up. I didn't say that. I said they have a defensive advantage and a coaching advantage. That's it. I didn't say anything else about any other advantages anywhere on the field. And as far as not showing up, why would you not show up? I mean, I told you I think it's going to be a close game and it could go either way. Uh... I hear that's, this, this, this next part I love because I hear this all the time too. Uh, coach O, Coach of the Year. Joe Brady, award for best assistant coach. Joe Burrow, untouchable awards. Heisman among them. Uh, Chase, Valitnikov, uh, second on the team in receiving. O-line, Joe Moore award. The best in college football. Oh, yeah, healthy in the line, blah, blah, blah. He's just named all these players that are great on LSU's team as if Clemson doesn't have a bunch of great players too. And let me tell you something about awards, James. James Martin. Awards don't win championships. Guess how many uh, Heisman trophies Deshaun Watson won? That's right, zero. Guess how many Heisman trophies Trevor Lawrence has won? That's right, zero. All those players that were in New York this year, Chase Young, Justin Fields, didn't, weren't they playing against Clemson the last week? What happened with Chase Young? The best player in football, they were saying. What happened with him? How did that work out for him? He was a non-factor in that game. One tackle. No sacks. Awards are popularity contest, sir. They have nothing to do with the outcome of football games. Sorry to tell you that. Um, but you'll find that out soon enough. Now he's just quoting a bunch of uh, stats from his favorite players on LSU. Uh, another award winner, freshman of the year, future number one pick, blah, 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 blah. Lightning quick linebackers, a massive D-line. Uh, come on, hillbilly, lay off the moonshine and see what you're fixing to face, the boogeyman. He calls me a hillbilly. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see this profile picture up here for James Martin. He's got his shirt off. He's in front of a mirror taking a selfie of his flexed bicep. That's James. He's calling me a hillbilly. And he's taking muscle pictures in his own bathroom. Get out of here, James. Uh, I like this one right here. <laughs> the, the only reason that I even uh, screenshotted this one is because I get a lot of these comments. All the time I get these comments. Every week almost. Uh, Montreal King, he says, I can't, ooh, I can't wait <laughs> for, to follow you for the game. Uh, well, first of all, thank you. I'm glad. I can't wait for you to follow me. Um, and I'm assuming what you're saying is the reason that you can't wait to follow me for the game is because you can't wait till LSU beats Clemson so you can come back and and, uh, and brag about it, right? Um, I'll tell you the same thing I told Ohio State fans. I'll be back either way. Differences, all the, the loudest ones on here in the comment section, the ones that talk all the shit and say they can't wait to come back after the game, they disappear. Now, a lot of Ohio State fans did come back and give props, uh, but they, those weren't the guys that for the last three weeks were talking all the shit. 
right? But the ones that were talking all the shit completely disappeared like they always do. And if Clemson wins this game, you'll disappear too. Uh, how about your Clemson helmet back there? He wants to bet. Mo- Listen to this question. Do you want to bet money? How about that Clemson helmet back there? Uh, real quick. I guess he's talking about this Clemson helmet here because obviously that's you know, a big sticker, right? That's not going anywhere. Uh, but just so you know what he's talking about. Um, a lot of people ask me to bet all the time. They say, Pete, if you're so, uh, if you're so sure Clemson is going to beat my team, how about let's bet on it? Why would I make a bet with a stranger, faceless stranger on the internet to where if I lose the bet, they disappear? I mean, if I win the bet, they disappear. Why would I do that? Sure, Montrell, let's bet a million dollars. Got a million dollars to pony up? Let's do it. Miko Green. If Clemson fell behind to LSU like that, do they come back? I think getting OSU first was a blessing for Clemson. (laughs) Miko thinks that Clemson playing Ohio State in the playoffs was a blessing as opposed to LSU playing a dilapidated half of a team in Oklahoma. That's what he thinks. It was a blessing. Jeez, re talk about delusion. All right, so here we go, guys. Now, this guy, what's his name? Uh, the Black Dog. All right. So normally, I do not read comments as long as this guy's. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is one-fourth of the comment. It's probably about 10 paragraphs. Um, I'm going to read the whole thing. All right, so you're just going to have to bear with me. But the only reason I'm even attempting to read this whole thing is because I, I there's so much going on in this comment. Uh, and you'll see what I'm talking about, and I'll stop in a minute. Leave. But I'm, I'm going to have to get pushed through it because it's, it's a lot of reading, and I don't want to bore you guys. But the sort of the overall tone of this comment is that I'm a homer. Everything I say is BS, and he tries to disprove why uh, of course, he, he tries to prove why LSU is better at everything is what he's trying to do here. But he calls me a homer in the process. The irony here is this is the biggest homer comment I've ever read. And the biggest bias comment I've ever read. But let's get right into it and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, here's my thoughts. Let me know what you think of them. I test are just lame excuses employed by people so that they can ignore the record to inject their own personal bias into the equation, which is exactly what you're about to do. That's how college football committee arrived at their bogus conclusions that Ohio state and Clemson were the two most complete teams in college football. When did the college football committee arrive at a conclusion that Ohio state and Clemson were the two most complete teams in football when Clemson was never ranked ahead of LSU. It's nothing but very biased opinion is what it is. LSU was number one team in the country. And he's telling me that they were biased against them. In fact, that was the scam that was employed by the lame college football playoff committee who were very obviously trying to manipulate the process to screw over LSU and especially the SEC. (laughs) I need some of what this guy's smoking. he's, He's saying that the playoff committee was biased against LSU and the SEC. Do you realize that the SEC had like six out of the top 10, uh, ranked teams in the playoff committee, sir, and LSU was number one. However, because of the very loud and very overwhelming support for LSU uh, to be the number one seed after the massacre of UGA, the lame committee was forced to back down and do the right thing. Oh my God, dude, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. They were forced to do the overwhelming support for LSU to do the right thing. Jesus Christ, I've never heard anything like this before. This is unbelievable. Uh, Indeed, it's Pigskin Pete's own personal bias that leads him to foolishly believe that Ohio State and Clemson were the two most complete teams in college football playoffs. All right, that's the first part of the comment. Uh, Believe me, it gets better. 
Meanwhile, Clemson's last three opponents were South Carolina, Virginia, and Ohio State, while LSU's final three opponents were Texas A&M, Georgia, and Oklahoma. Uh, okay, was that supposed to impress me? Uh, in my opinion, LSU played the harder schedule in their final three games relative to the schedule Clemson played in their final three games. Who cares? What does it have to do with this game? I, have you not learned by now that Clemson, who Clemson plays does not determine how good they are? I don't even know why it's so, so hard to understand that. But the idiots like this don't get it. Not to mention, the best team Clemson played in the regular season was Texas A&M. Um, I don't think that's true at all. But, okay, if you say so. As a Clemson clearly hasn't played hardly any teams with the pulse this season. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Which means that Clemson's defense numbers are actually quite over stated when you take into the level of competition Clemson has played. Sir, I, I hate to burst your bubble. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm not too impressed with any ske anybody's schedule. Everybody has... All right, Clemson, yeah, right. Most of the teams they played ended up not being good. But even the teams that have a hard schedule, like you think that LSU does, outside of Alabama, I'm not seeing a whole lot of juggernauts on that schedule, sir. Congratulations for beating Alabama. That's impressive. The rest of them... Clemson would have done the same thing to them. And if you don't think so, you haven't been paying attention. Uh, where, did I, where did I get a Oh, Oh, Clemson's defensive numbers are overstated to the level of competition, blah, blah. Therefore, it's very apparent to me that of the two teams involved in the title game, that LSU currently at this time of the season has a better defense. <laughs> Dude, LSU has a better defense than Clemson now. That's what you're telling me? That's what you're telling me. Ohio State had the number one scoring offense in the country, scored 23 points. I, have, I know I'm probably repeating myself now. How many, but listen, I, I wish I could pull up, uh, I should have pre prepared this, but they gave, look at how many points have been scored on LSU this year by bad teams. A lot. Sit here and tell me they're better than Clemson on defense. You're out of your mind. Uh, where was that? Okay. Furthermore, overall, Clemson's offense, in my opinion, is also very overstated simply due to, again, to the piss poor quality. So Clemson's defense, nah, overrated. Offense, nah, overrated. Hadn't played nobody. Sir, have you been, have you been, did you start watching college football this year? You're like a, a parrot for all the moronic things I read on the internet for the past three years. And believe me, it hasn't worked out for any of those people that's saying the same things that you are. Furthermore, Clem uh, oh yeah, I already read that part. While LSU, on the other hand, which so far this season has already played and beaten six teams that were ranked in the AP Top 10 poll with three of those. You just got done telling me that the, uh, the polls are all biased and stuff. Now you're stating how you beat all these teams in the, in the come on, man. Don't, don't, don't flip-flop on me like that. Either you respect the polls or you don't. Uh, and, he's, and now he's, now he's uh, quoting the AP poll instead of the college football playoff poll. As if the AP poll, which is a bunch of writers, associated press writers, isn't biased. Give me a break. Uh, three of those teams ranked in the AP top five at the time games were actually played. Is legit number one best offensive team in college football today. All right, let's see what's next here. We've got two more of these pages here. <laughs> Therefore, in my opinion, LSU's offense is far superior to Clemson's offense simply due to the huge disparity in the quality of competition Clemson has played relative to the quality of competition LSU has played. Uh, which also further means that since... How, uh, how, how does uh, any team that Clemson played compare to, I don't know, let's say uh, Vanderbilt? 38 points, Vanderbilt? You realize Vanderbilt's one of the bottom three teams in all of the country, right? Not just in the SEC. Which also further means since LSU currently has a better defense and also a far better offense relative to Clemson, that LSU as opposed to Clemson is by far the most complete football team in all of college football today, bar none. <laughs> this guy's a pisser. Now comparing our two games to our only common opponent, which is Texas A&M. Clemson beat A&M by 24 to 10, held them to 289 yards of offense while gaining 389 uh, total offense on A&M. LSU, on the other hand, beat A&M 
uh, 50 to 7. Okay, yeah, okay, I got you. So the common opponent thing means that that's the, you know, that's how everybody knows that transient properties, common opponents, is exactly how you, you know, judge how you're going to play against somebody else. Everybody knows that. You're a genius. Hence, if LSU loses this game to Clemson, it won't be because Clemson is the better. Of, okay. Now listen to, listen to this. Let me read this again. Listen to what this guy t- says right here. If LSU loses this game to Clemson, it won't be because Clemson is the better of the two football teams. Now, where have we heard that before? He's already making excuses. If Clemson wins this game, he's going to come back crying in my comment section saying, well, LSU is still the better team and Ohio State was better than you too, but, we, but both teams lost. <laughs> Shut up. Good God almighty. If LSU beats Clemson, it won't be because, I mean, if Clemson beats LSU, it won't be because Clemson's better. Uh, as I'm betting LSU win the national championship uh, title game against Clemson, relatively easy, he says. He thinks this is going to be a cakewalk, no problem, pretty easy, right? He's one of these morons that probably thinks, I don't know what, uh, 50 to 10. Uh, no, I'll give you a little bit more respect than that, Clemson. I'll say 55 to 25, right? Yeah. All right, here's the last part of the comment, and this is, uh, this is good, too. This whole thing is good. only reason I'm reading all this. Uh, how long did it take you to type this comment, by the way? Jeez, man. Meanwhile, LSU has played and beaten six teams ranked in the AP poll already this season, with three of those teams being ranked in the top five. LSU beat them, hence if any team has more, if any team has more experience playing in big games, it's clearly LSU. No, no, it's not, not really. Uh, what you consider to be big games, uh, what I consider to be big games might be two different things. So, I mean, I consider playoffs to be massively massively different than regular season games but uh okay uh as the only team that clemson has played so far this season with a pulse was ohio state and then it and then it took a great deal of luck for them to win that game it wasn't it wasn't holding um it wasn't holding ohio state to uh to field goals and three red zone trips Uh, it wasn't the two turnovers that they forced on justin fields um, it wasn't the explosive plays on offense uh, with, with Trevor Lawrence and Travis Etienne. Um, it, it, was, it wasn't any of that. that. None of that is the reason. It was luck. All luck. And, and of course, it was, it was luck. It was a combination of luck and Ohio State self-destructing. When, whatever, whatever Clemson did, that, that had no bearing on it. Uh, classic loser mentality. And this is the same shit he'll be saying if LSU loses this game. He'll be coming back and saying all the same things. He'll be saying that the refs did this or, or Clemson got lucky or, or LSU self-destructed or whatever, whatever losers say. Not to mention that Ohio State has also gained over 500 yards of total offense on Clemson's so-called vaunted defense. Uh, yeah, they gained over 500 yards of offense on Clemson. Uh, mostly, uh, how many of those were on two plays? Like 200 of those 500 were on like two plays. But that's, that doesn't matter. That's not an excuse. Uh, but guess what doesn't decide football games? Yards doesn't. Guess what does? Points. The whole object is to keep them out of the end zone, and Clemson does a damn good job of that. You could, they could score a thousand. They could have ran up a thousand yards of offense on Clemson if they didn't score more points. It was, doesn't really matter, does it? Indeed, nothing else rattles Joe Burrow, or nothing rattles Joe Burrow. Does it appear that anything rattles Trevor Lawrence to you, sir? Have you been watching football for the past couple of years? If 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 he didn't prove that nothing rattles him this past Saturday, that I don't know what, to, you're not going to ever be, uh, believe it. As no team yet this season has managed to slow down Burrow and company, and certainly Clemson will fail as well. Certainly, he says. He's guaranteeing it. Uh, as defenses that Clemson has played already this season, no one is Clemson's offense is capable of uh, keeping pace with Burrow and company. Uh, it's just not going to happen. Uh, so this last uh, comment here, or last paragraph, is the pisser. At, after everything that he just said, I want you to just keep in mind all of the crazy, Homer, delusional, uh, mind-bendingly dumb comments that he's made in this comment. And then listen to this. In fact, nearly everything this pigskin Pete dude has said in this video with respect to this upcoming national championship title game is complete and utter garbage. 
Well, at least he admits to being a homer. Uh, yeah, I'm, I do admit to being a homer. Um, but I need some lessons from you because you just gave me about a 10 paragraph school session on how to be a homer. Never seen a bigger homer than you, sir. Uh, you definitely earned my respect for the amount of homerism that you just uh, displayed there. It was epic. Uh, all right, so I guess that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, keep the comments coming, and I'll continue to read them as we go through uh, the days here. And uh, again, if I skipped over your comment, I didn't put your comment up. There's hundreds of them, and I can't do all of them. So but maybe I'll pick yours next time. Have a great day, though. Big Skin Pete checking out.